welcome to the 19th episode of my RPG Maker VS Ace video tutorials. In this episode, this will be a quick episode basically just showing you guys um, how to add items to your world that you've created in the database. And this was a request by someone that their name slipped me by slip but well, i don't even know if, if, whatever um basically it's a request um yeah let's start there's two ways you could add items to the to the to your world two ways the first way which is uh, whatever is by giving the items to your to the enemies and the drop items list basically just click that little dot 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 and then pick which what kind of item either item weapon or armor the pot probability of that item dropping when you kill that monster and then that's one way to add items to your game but if you want like your character to find the item and pick it up and then put it in the inventory and not having and don't have to fight monsters for it there's um to again two ways to do that to do that one way to do it but okay one of those ways is basically that which is the easiest thing you could do is right click on the map where you want to place the item which can be changed later just right click go to quick event creation go down to treasure chest you could pick the graphics of the treasure chest you want it doesn't even have to be a treasure chest but for tutorial purposes let's make it a treasure chest why not pick the kind of treasure chest you want then you get four options either you could put gold in that treasure chest item in that treasure chest weapon in that treasure weapons in that treasure chest or armors in that treasure chest but again for tutorial purposes let's go ahead and pick this item so that means every time i go to this treasure chest i mean not every time but it's a one-time deal so when i go to this treasure chest it's gonna give me this item so basically that sets up everything for you from beginning to end it does all the um sw um the paging for you the switches for you all you basically just do is pick what item you want which is right there now let me show you how to actually well not how to make it but how to make something similar like that let's say you have the graphics for the item that you want to place in your world and you just want it to be on the floor and you want the actor to pick it up what you do is you right click new event um pick the graphics since i don't actually have any graphics so i'm i'm just gonna use uh okay let's use this coffin for example so excuse me pick the item you want um just to save time i'm gonna make a new page and then check this self switch and then just leave this page and it's done now let's work on the first page so what you want to do to give the player an item this is all you have to do is right click insert um Again, the four choices you get with the treasure chest is here. You could change gold, change item, change weapon, change armor. For this tutorial purposes, again, I'm going to go ahead and pick change weapons. Change, yeah, change weapons. Then you pick the weapon you want from your list. Since I only have one, so only one can be obtained. You either decrease or increase. Decrease means if the actor has this weapon in their inventory, it's going to take away one or how many, how many ever you set um if you're new and not advanced don't worry about that variable thingy right there um this um include equipment that means if your character's equipped um has that sword equipped or whatever and um, weapon you're changing it will take it away anyways but if you um leave it if you leave um if you leave it unchecked they won't take it away if the character or actor has it equipped so but we're increasing this time so it basically just adds it to your inventory so it's going to give me one sword um let's say i want to get that one sword and equip it at the same time so all you basically do is right click and then go down to actor um change equipment and then this guy and then you pick sword one that means if you have a sword one in your inventory it's gonna equip it but if not then it's not going to but since we are getting this i mean i said sword one but since we are getting this sword it will equip this sword once we get it um so basically you want this to disappear once you um, obtain the item you go ahead and click insert um control self switch and press ok since we already set it everything is good so we could we could put a message here showing that the player got the item or whatever we could do all of that we could add more to this make it a condition branch make it like 
you have to be a certain level to pick up that item. Maybe say like it's too heavy for you on, until you're like level twenty or whatever, so you can't pick it up until you're strong enough. What you could do, you could do whatever you want to just obtain that item. But for tutorial purposes, we're making it very, very easy. So let's go ahead and test this out right now. Okay. Um, I am in the inn. Let's go ahead and exit this inn. So the first way I showed you is with the treasure chest. Let's go ahead and see what that does. Remember, as I said before, it does everything for you. All you ha I really have to do is pick the graphics and what item you want to obtain. So this item was found. It does the text for you and everything. So if I go in my inventory right now, it's going to see this item. Now let's go ahead and go pick up that call. I mean, yeah, the coffin that we just got. So we click on it. It disappears. So where did it go? Well, it gives you the illusion that um, it entered your inventory since it disappeared from the world. And right now we have this sword, which should be equipped and it is equipped. And I don't know if that's, I, I think it's because we start the game with it. So yeah, we start the game with it. So it didn't really equip, actually did equip, but it just unequipped the one that we had already. But the event is still there, but it's just hidden on the second page of it so it doesn't like seem like that's not in there but it's actually there and that's basically how you do it um i did record this episode before but again i forgot to record my mouse and i didn't want to do the commentary thingy because i really don't like that so i went ahead and re-recorded it and well that's basically it for this episode um i basically did this because i didn't like do a episode on monday due to lack of requests so i said let me fill up this one request real quick and upload it with my let's make an open world rpg videos which i do have up right now and i am just waiting for it to hit seven the first time i did this it took me five minutes but for some reason it took me three extra minutes well peace guys